Infectious disease doctor Chris Van Tulliken has got his white coat on. I'm a doctor and we're looking at the different bacteria that are on people's hands. So what I want to do is just get a swab. When I'm in the hospital or the lab working with infectious diseases, of course I have to wash my hands thoroughly all the time and use antiseptic washes. But now everyone's being sold these antimicrobial gels, wipes and foams. The question is, do we really need them? How filthy are the average person's hands and are these products really the best way to clean them? They're old hands. <laughs> no, you've got gorgeous hands. Look at that. I'm hoping to collect swabs from 50 people's hands and then see what bacteria they're carrying. Where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland? Well, I do wash all the time. You've got kids? <laughs> yes. That's right. Thank you. Bye. That will tell us what sort of a hygiene problem we're really dealing with. Rub it all over. And I've just been on a train as well. It's going to be filthy, I want to mate. know what's on there, man. Absolutely filthy. You've got... 14. Plus 10 is 24. Is 31. 11. 42. 49. Yeah. So let's get one more My Hand Swap. A few days later, I catch up with microbiologist Dr Ron Cutler, who's been growing the bacteria we collected until there are enough to see who has been carrying what. And there is quite a range from the super clean to the rather less hygienic. Some people are quite normally contaminated. And so this is, is typical? This is a typical one. OK, so we've got a few different bugs and that's what the, the blobs are, the bacteria yeah, growing on there. That's right. OK. Now this one here has a huge range of different <laughs> bacteria uh, and, and a fungus, which is up at the top there. And you can see there's far more colonies there than there was in the other plate. OK. Some of them will be from your nose, some of them will be from your bottom. It's pretty amazing. And it smells odd, doesn't it? The plates, the, the plates smell funny, some of them. Yeah, I'm glad you sniffed it, because yeah. I said they wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not going to get any closer <laughs> than that. From our testing, a third of people's hands were what Ron called heavily contaminated with bacteria. And around 10% were grossly contaminated. They had between 10 and 50 times more bacteria than average. But worst of all, nearly a third of people's hands were contaminated with bacteria normally found in poo. That's a surprising number of people who could do with washing their hands more often. And it's not just from the loo that germs get onto our hands. The kitchen sink typically contains 10,000 times more germs than a toilet. Most chopping boards have faecal bacteria on them. And those famous stomach bugs, E. coli, lurk in washing machine water. How did mine look? Were my hands filthy or about well, normal? Well, not so good. You basically um, were not one of the clean ones. <laughs> As you can see, you've got a whole range of different organisms. Nice. But I should be doing better than this. Probably. You should be doing better than that, but I didn't like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we doctors wash our hands so much. 